Got Mike here. And Jake. We are going to just quickly take a look. Yeah. At, uh, I made a game with zombies in it. Uh, For the prob Xbox Indie Arcade. This or game, whatever they call it. They, indie Marketplace. Do they have a real name for it? Indie Games. Indie Games. Uh, I call it the Indie Arcade. So, yes. We're going to be doing a... Okay. It's what put the indie arcade on the map, in my opinion. In my, it's my opinion. Yes. <laughs> that this is what put the indie game on the market. Uh, Mike, um, you are blue. I'm red. Are you? I am. What about what colors are colorblind people? What colors can't colorblind people see? Blue and red. Really? I don't know. Because <laughs> that'd be awesome. I think it's like green against purple or something. I have no idea. It, I know it's green, and don't they see white instead of whatever color it is? They're not even people. That's true. <laughs> if you're a colorblind person, can you please just stop watching this? We don't need your view. So this leave is a, a comment a... <laughs> though, and check us out on iTunes and leave a review. This is a basic uh, twin stick shooter, uh, kind of similar to something you'd see like on a Geometry Wars, or very similar to an old game I used to love, like Crimson Land. Yeah, it's called Crimson Land. Was that it? Yeah. It's almost identical to Crimson Land to the point where I kind of feel like maybe these are the guys that made Crimson. I haven't looked into it though. Yeah. Well, okay. you know, people can make things that are very similar to something else. Like, but this feels like it is Crimson Land. It does. Just without the little like in the middle power ups you get. Like the weapons feel the same. Like you walk on grass. But yeah, it's twin six shooter. You're using uh, your right thumb to shoot, left thumb to, uh, to walk around. It's literally that simple. It's there's they're not doing anything. I don't know uh, how well the song is coming through, but the song is almost the best part about this game. Yeah, I made a game with zombies in its song. You can see on the screen they, they have fun things going on. The letters. They show letters as well, Mike. Have you noticed the letters? Yeah, they show letters, they show numbers. <laughs> the whole thing. There's audio and graphic and points. As you can see, we're picking up random weapons. Basically, the, the full extent of it is about as complicated as this game gets is pick up ammo. Yeah. And you can keep picking up ammo and it will cumulatively add up, or you can switch to a new one. And there are a couple ones that suck. Uh, I hate uh, the railgun, which is the laser. I think you probably hate that one too. Yeah, railgun sucks. Um, I'm not a fan of the rocket launcher. Rocket launcher is okay. I'm not big on the shotgun. Yeah, the shotgun. We have the rocket launcher and the shotgun right now. <laughs> Flamethrower is a little weak. <laughs> <laughs> I like the flamethrower. You don't like the flamethrower? Not really. What? I think to me it's all about the flamethrower and the like three green things. Well, there's no question. The the gun in this game for everyone watching the it three home, green things. The, the, the green thing gun. Whatever that gun is, like some sort of plasma shooter. Yeah. It's excellent. Clearly the best gun. Well, then there's also you can pick up a shield, which makes it so you, when you walk into enemies, it damages them and you can't be hurt. And then there's a speed upgrade where you can see I'm moving a lot faster than Jake right now. Uh, and as you can see, the, the environment changes a bunch, and then weird different enemies uh, start popping up. Uh, and eventually it just becomes a, a, I mean, for lack of a better term, Jake, a clusterfuck. It becomes a bit of a fucking cluster. I hate this laser gun. It's so yeah, it's the worst. It's, it's not very good. It's a stupid gun. Every, almost, railguns in almost every game of the worst. Yeah. And then uh, you can also see this life icon, Blue's about to pick up, that just gives you an extra life. Now the cool thing about lives in this game is, you, the more you have, the more points you get at the end, because it's set. You're set on what, is it like a 15 minute timer? I think it's way or less 10 than minutes. that. 10 minutes? Yeah. I, I don't know why, I feel like it's like 7 minutes maybe. It's till the end of you the song. You can grab that far. You, it's, it's set on a timer, and basically you try to make it to the end, and it gets crazy in the end. To the point where you're getting hit a lot, just plain and simple. Every type of enemy, the hard ones, the easy ones, everything, uh, is hitting you. And uh, so you have a certain amount of lives to get to that, but like when you get to the end, the amount of lives you have left over are worth a shitload of points. And uh, obviously it's an indie arcade game, and it's an early indie arcade game, so there's no online functionality, it's all uh, couch co-op. And it's actually, one of the really cool things about it is it's four player. Yeah, it's four player, you can get four people, and uh, like, even though couch co-op stuff seems to be dying these days, every once in a while it's fun when you get like, a bunch of people together just play a game like this. Yeah. Now here's the cool thing is the, the original one started off as like a typical zombie twin stick shooter. The second one was all weird looking. This one is almost a lot like Asteroids or Stardust HD. You kind of see them trying to do that because the next area is almost identical to the yeah, Geometry here, Wars. Grab, grab the gun. This is the gun. The gun yeah, uh, the, the green gun. character has right now might. It just shoots three like awesome stars and it's it covers the spread. It's strong. It covers the spread, Jake. It's like uh, a really good better. Yeah. Well, or a team that you'd want to cover the spread. I, to be honest, I don't know what the term cover the spread means. I just know it has to do with gambling. Yeah, yeah, it's a gambling term. And you can see your ammo up in the top, you can see your score. Again, it's like, it's pretty user-friendly. Like there's not a lot of 
complication. It's, it's the, the perfect, like, this game works. Yeah. It's as simple as it needs to be, uh, and it's just a fun. This was, this was the game that made us realize that there were actually video games in the indie arcade. Well, what's weird is I had I knew they had plans to release the indie arcade. I was under the impression that it didn't even exist until this game came out because they never marketed it. They never told you where it was or that you could go and get it or you could play games in it. I didn't know they ever released it. I thought it was just one of those things where I was like, oh, I guess they never did anything. Like, you know how they were originally going to have, like, diamond membership and they were going to have all sorts of weird phone stuff that just they never did? That's what I thought the indie marketplace was going to be. Right. And then people were talking about this game. I checked it out and I was like, oh, there's a lot of games on here. And I found this. I found another one we're going to be covering for Tech Me Night. And there's just a lot of decent games on here. That uh, So, like, over the time, like, they're all dirt cheap. And they are all uh, pretty minuscule. But, like, over the time, they've, there's now ones with online play. There's what, full 3D ones. Like, they're kind of stepping up what they're allowed to do in here. Like, isn't one of them 800 like, points yeah, or something, Yeah, we, we just looked at a tower defense game. Uh, we haven't got a, a fast glance of it up yet. Yeah. Our our, our, uh, our rapid um, viewers ship. Yes. Our rapid view. Well, when we quickly look at something, I yeah. don't know what we'll call that. Who knows yeah. what we'll call that? Yeah, like, what are we, fucking scientists? No. Can't just run around naming Oh, that's things. actually a good point. Uh, a lot of people might be saying, these guys are scientists, we are not. Yeah, yeah, please don't mistake us for scientists. We have, yes, we're not scientists at all. And also, if everyone at home has noticed, Mike's died a lot. I don't believe I have. Um, yeah, but I feel like I'm talking more. I'm really trying to give the people... Oh, yeah, uh, you're... Our, I'm the voice. You're hamming it up. Oh, yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm phoning a lot of this in. Yeah. Um, but, like, that makes you play worse. Right. And... Also, so I want. Not only are you. <laughs> <it's> just... <laughs> not only am I doing a, a, a shitty thing, but I'm also playing bad. Okay. But I also I want you to look good. That's true. Yeah. This, this, actually, that's how I live my life. Not just Jake and Mike. Like, like you and me in life. Yeah. I want. I try and. There's a lot of make you look good. You. Until there's a fire over there. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> really? Okay. I'm not telling you about anything. <laughs> uh, oh, I love it when you just have a shitload of green ammo. Yeah, it's amazing. Where's the geometry work on? I always feel like it comes in earlier. Yeah. It's later, I guess. Um, let's, uh, let's let it get to the Geometry Wars area just so people can kind of get the... I guess I think that's the last type of enemies you see. And, uh, that'll... I, people got a good look at what, uh... I made a game of zombies in it. It's, uh... What is it? I think it's 80 points. 80, is 80 points one dollar? Yeah. I feel like you have to go to fucking, like, you have to get a, a Masters in in mathematology to even understand mathematology. Yeah. Like, well, half, what are points? What are they? It's a strange concept, isn't it? Yeah, I think the Geometry Wars section is next. If it's not, this was, uh, I made a game of zombies in it. Every indie game has a trial, so check out the trial there. You have to wait through a lot of bullshit. But yeah. if you have an iPhone or something, you're probably used to waiting through bullshit to find a couple decent things. There are some there are some gems in there. And that, that's our and goal. This we're, is one of them. Yeah, we're gonna try and show you as many of the gems as we can find. Also, we're gonna show you some of the shit. Oh yeah, we're gonna show you some of the shit storms that have appeared on this uh, this indie game marketplace. It's kind of surprising we haven't seen that geometry wars thing. Yet. I think it is 15 minutes, dude. Oh really? Yeah, because we're running on we're close to 10 right now. We're close to 10 minutes. Yeah. All right. Well, we're just gonna. We'll let it get to geometry. We'll, we'll, I think it's next. The okay. music isn't the cue. Okay. Okay. You guys heard it at home. Yep. Mike's calling it. Or maybe you're at work. Oh, dude, are you listening to us? Uh, watch this video at work? If you better be on your lunch break, right? If you are watching this at work, come on. Oh, okay, yeah, here it is. This is not a good use of your time. There's a geometry one. Okay. And then you start seeing all the enemies, they basically just. If there's geometry. Yeah, they become little bricks. So, so here right. it is. That's I made a game of zombies in it. Uh, one dollar on the indie game marketplace. One hundred percent worth it. I'll save you. Save me, Jake. I'll Jake, say goodbye you. to everybody. Goodbye, everyone. Please subscribe and rate, and also fuck yourself. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Fuck you. We don't need you guys. <laughs> you suck.